Hello everyone. In my last video, I explained how to ingest data in Splunk with admin access. Now, in this video, I will show you that how can we ingest the data in Splunk without admin access. We have access to Splunk with user level role. Then second, index and source type should be present where you want to dump the data. Second, identify the data or uh, you should know the fields or data which you are going to dump into Splunk. You should have access to upload a files, uh, a lookup file into Splunk. And before performing this operation, uh, at least you, you should do an impact analysis before performing this, this operation into production or you better this activity should not perform uh, in production without consulting a Splunk expert or a Splunk PS. So let's begin. There are few steps are there. Uh, first uh, upload the lookup file uh, with the data, desired data which you want to dump into index. Second, create search using input lookup. So and in this video, we will cover how to deal with the lookup and uh, also uh, we will dump data into uh, index. So let's, I will log into my user with username and password to plan. Now, to check what kind of access I have in Splunk, there is a command to check the role, my role in Splunk. So, I have role of user level. So, you can do what all activity uh, in Splunk which is permitted to this user. So for our use case, what we can do is just go and upload the uh, lookup file. So go to sec settings, lookups. Lookup table files. New lookup table file and you choose a destination app. Currently I am choosing as search. Choose the file. CSV. CSV. Save it. Now this file is present in this lookup file pre is present in this plan. Now how you can search the data from that lookup file? So for that we will go to search and reporting type input lookup and employee.csv so this is the lookup file we have insert so now we have to identify which all fields we require or we want to push it into our index. So first I will take name, okay. age, city, So this is the data I want to dump into my index. Now, just one command we need to add, add info. So it will create few timestamp information with this data. Now, 
we are going to use collect command where you need to use index name so my index name is this i will directly copy i will copy paste it here okay now go and click search now we should check whether the data is present in index or no for that i will create a new window and check whether the data is present or no so go and check so we can see it has created a uh, one more source type called stash so whatever the data you uh, until and unless you have not specified any source type so it will go into the stash by default it will go into a stash uh, uh, source type now if you want to dump data in a specific source type so like in this index we have two source type one is stash and another is my lab so i will select this my lab and put it over here and run this command once again so let's do that so currently how many how much uh, many data is there how many events are there one two three four four events are there now it should increase to eight have eight events with the current timestamp okay. these are the events which has been pushed through collect okay so this is how you can dump a particular data into splunk without having admin access so here we do not have admin access and we can dump a data we we were able to dump data in an in index called my lab. Now let's come to the use cases of it. So where where all uh, we can use this uh, this method? So first method, uh, first use case will be when you have installed any app, and uh, to test that app, we you do not have any kind of data in your system. In your index your particular index which is which came along with that app and so you can use uh, first of all you need to identify what all fields are required what kind of data required uh, for that application and you can make accordingly you can make a, a excel sheet a excel or dot csv file and upload it uh, using lookup uh, uh, definition or lookup table and then and dumped data dump data into uh, particular index and uh, this is how uh, you can uh, populate the data in your application now second use case uh, will be there that there, there is a, uh, we have created a, a correlation search uh, uh, which should trigger a security use case uh, like inbound and outbound uh, traffic so, so in similar similar fashion, in uh, you can create a lookup file, uh, lookup file having all the all the fields with the data and upload it to Splunk and use. Uh, you can trigger uh, your own condition uh, using uh, this data. So next uh, next uh, use case can be uh, you you are searching up. up you have created a. Uh, search uh, where where uh, uh, it will search for a specific error now uh, at present you don't do not have any kind of uh, error log uh, in error pattern in your logs so by doing this by uploading uh, a lookup having the error pattern in your index uh, can trigger the error condition uh, through through your search so these are the use cases 
yeah, likewise you can use uh, this uh, method in other use cases suitable for, for your uh, your environment. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, thank you.